Let us discuss about repressor directed histone deacetylation. Here the histone N terminal tails are present in their acetylated form. The gene sequence consists of a upstream control sequence 1 or URS1. The repressor protein called UME6 has a DVD or DNA binding domain and a RD or repression domain. The DVD of UME6 first interacts with a specific URS1 of the genes that are regulated by UME6. This is a multiprotein complex containing proteins like SIN3 and RPD3. In this multiprotein complex, the SIN3 RPD3 complex functions as a co repressor. The RPD3 is a histone deacetylase. The RD of UME6 then binds to the SIN3 protein of the multiprotein complex. The RPD3 in the multiprotein complex then causes deacetylation of histone N terminal tails on the nucleosome. This deacetylation occurs in the region of the UME6 binding site. This deacetylation inhibits the binding of general transcription factors at the Tata box. This inhibition represses gene expression. Now let us discuss about activator directed histone hyperacetylation. Here the histone N terminal tails are present in their acetylated conditions. The gene sequence consists of a upstream activating sequences or UAS. The activator protein called GCN4 has also a DVD and a AD or activation domain. First, the DVD of the GCN4 interacts with the UAS of the genes that are regulated by GCN4. The histone acetylase complex consists of many proteins including GCN5. The GCN5 is the catalytic subunit. The activation domain or AD of GCN4 then interacts with the histone acetylase complex. The GCN5 then causes hyperacetylation of histone and terminal tails on the nucleosome. This hyperacetylation occurs in the vicinity of GCN4 binding site. Due to this hyperacetylation, general transcription factors required for transcription initiation can access the promoter region. As a result, transcription initiates. The mammalian homologue of SIN3 is MSIN3. Please like, subscribe and share.